Welcome to the final episode of the UAB Blazers Dynasty. Boy, has this series come a long way or what? Um, 12 years, man, 12 years. It's been an incredible ride. Um, I, I can't thank you guys enough for the support that you guys have given me from beginning to end in this series. It's been incredible. Um, so... What this video is going to be about is to kind of celebrate what has happened in the 12 years that this dynasty has been active and go over like some records that were broken and kind of like take a look back at some some things that may have happened over the course of the dynasty. Um, like going back at the contracts and stuff like that, looking at the records that we had, uh, you know, the bulls that we accomplished, how far we've actually come from beginning to end to give you guys kind of like an idea of you know what was what was the UAB dynasty what was it I mean it sounds like a eulogy but it, it, well it technically is but um you know it, it, it was something special and I'm gonna hold this place I'm gonna hold this dynasty in a place in my heart like more than anything else that I've ever you know done on this channel before so without further ado um Let's go over, you know, the stuff that we've been able to accomplish. Like, we've maxed out literally, literally everything on our head coaching tree. Um, everything. It took us, I can't, I think it took us, like, in the 11th year we did this. Um, not 100% sure on that one. But it took us 11 years to max out the skill tree. Um, XP goals, not some, uh, well, we could have. School record. Uh, we were pretty close to breaking that, I do believe. Or we were really close to breaking the NCAA record for the passing, uh, the rushing totals and the passing totals. Um, coaching contracts. That's something that you're going to be able to see all of the. See, this was obviously part of the deal, but like back in 96, we were just, they were all just mediocre programs back in 2004 and 2000. They both were bowl eligible. 2001, they were bowl eligible. I think this is at the time they were FCS. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong on that. Um, but, but they made their bowl appearance here in 2004. Uh, they had a, a few lows where they went 2 and 10, 3 and 9. Usually they were like on the fringe of being bowl eligible a couple of times. Usually a 3 or 4 win program until I was here in 2013 where we went 6 and 6, and then 10 and 4, 12 and 2. And we just took off from there. And we were undefeated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years in a row. Uh, we didn't lose a single game until our, uh, since 2015, back in year three of the dynasty. Um, and our winning streak, it's a long one. Um, I think it goes, it goes way past 100 games. At this point, I think it's like 113. Um, we only took 12 losses in the dynasty so far in this dynasty. Um, I'm not going to get rid of the save file for this. Um, I'm probably going to still play it <laughs> considering um, I might even stream it on Twitch. This might be a Twitch thing from now on, depending how I feel. I'll, I'll keep you guys informed on that. If you guys want me to continue it on Twitch, that'd be that would be spectacular. Uh, it gives me more of a reason to stream on Twitch. Um, not that I won't stream on this on YouTube for anything, but I could do both, but, um, I could do something like this on here, uh, just to give you guys an idea of what I have going on. Um, just a long and incredible winning streak. Uh, let's take a look here at the info. And that doesn't really matter, I guess. But, um... I know we just... We won... We got a bunch of Heisman trophies before in the past. Uh, we had Chris Jones. Justin Kelly won it a couple times. Uh, Brett Evans was the most recent one. Kenny Wright won one. Um, we had a, quite a few Heisman Trophy winners in the 12 years that we were uh, doing this dynasty. A, tons and tons of All-Americans. Like, I couldn't count on my fingers and toes about the All-Americans that we had. Um, 
a bunch of consecutive national championship games too. Um, so let's take a look at some stats. Um, season stats, we'll go over that, these the season stats. Uh, Jay Harris, obviously 59 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Most touchdown passes in, in school history. Uh, deservedly so. He was just a phenomenal player. And Brett Evans... 2,200 yards rushing, 37 touchdowns on the ground. I don't know how how much you, better you can do than that. Um, that's just amazing. Uh, Eric Bush didn't get the ball as much, but he still did enough work during the year. Uh, Trey Birch, obviously, fullback type of thing going on there. He's been spectacular. Everybody who touched the ball on the ground at least got a touchdown. That's That's nice to see. Just Brett Evans, just a spectacular year. Uh, looking at the receiving core, Derek Henderson, he was a touchdown machine. Uh, Evan Thornton, another good player. Joe Ingram, another great player. Uh, Todd Thomas, and we, yeah, we had a lot of players that did just do it all. We had one, two, three, four, five, six receivers over 100 yards, and f four of them reached over 500. So that's just called diversity right there. We just threw it to the open guy and threw it to the best available player at the time. Um, offensive line, you know I really don't care about these statistics too much. I mean, yes, it's good to see a pancake because uh, that means you just got the best of your opponent. But obviously, it's not that big of a deal for me. Now, the sacks they gave up, obviously, that's something I look for. But we don't give up too many sacks. Um, looking at defensively, 33 sacks, that's just incredible. Um, but then again, the level of competition that we had this year was kind of low. And Tyjon Kemp, it was a, he was a beast. Um, C.J. Jones, good player. Ronnie Sampson, good player. We had four players with 10-plus sacks. Noah Noop, eight sacks even is still a good year. Um, George Davis had a pretty good year as well. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different players with a sack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different players with an interception. Just another great statistic to have. George Davis, a lot of them were on those screen passes. That's totally fair. Henry Harrington, um, another good player that we've had. I think the person with the best overall year on defense, though, had to have been George Davis. Considering he got he got sacks and interceptions, just proves his versatility. Um, pick sixes. Uh, let's take a look here at defensive touchdowns. George Davis had five defensive touchdowns. Henry Harrington had two. Uh, Goodman, Wallace, uh, both Wallaces actually, and uh, Scott Frazier all had defensive touchdowns. Kicking. We don't kick field goals all that much, do we? But 11 for 11 still pretty good. Uh, cannot complain about that at all. Um, longest one from 50. We didn't have the longest kick in any stretch of the imagination at any, any given year. So not surprised by that statistic. Um, had a couple of kickoffs returned for touchdowns this year. Always good to see. Even had a punt return for a touchdown, which is something I hardly ever see. But I'm happy I, it happens, you know. I'm happy when it happens. Um, but let's take a look at some career stats. Or actually, let's look at some school records. Because those are big for us. Uh, Justin Kelly, for his career, I think he'll always hold that record. Uh, he started, like, I think he did get some playing time as a freshman. Um, he'll hold all, he'll hold some of these records forever. I don't think that that's without any, without a doubt, he'll hold these records forever. Um, just incredible numbers right there throughout, throughout the career of Justin Kelly. I mean, yes, one of them was broken. That's totally fair. You know, totally expected. Jay Harris, 12, uh, 59 touchdown passes. That's incredible. It, it really is. It really is incredible. So, props to Jay. Breaking one of Justin's records. Um, takes a lot of time to do that. But, and it seems like with a lot of these touchdown passes, you, could, you would think that we were a really pass-heavy team, but we still ran the ball with much in authority, you know? It wasn't like we did only one thing and one thing only. It was like we were versatile and and we did everything on offense the way we wanted to. Uh, receiving, 
Uh, Frank Clement, obviously, I think he's probably the, the greatest uh, receiver that we've had in the school's program, um, in the school history. He broke a bunch of records, still holds a bunch of them. Uh, receiving touchdowns in a career, receiving touchdowns in a game, receiving touchdowns in a season. Um, although um, Derek Henderson is tied for that record. He didn't break it, but he tied it. So there's that. Um, Frank Clement also has receiving yards in a game at 397. That's a lot. <laughs> um, Donald Hill's first year, he was the, he was the one dude, I think, like the first tight end I recruited. And then Matt Weiss, the first guy to come through. I, I don't think that record will be broken, but he was the man back in the first year, of the di first two years of the dynasty. I remember that much um, because he was, uh, we were pass heavy in the first part of the dynasty. And uh, we wanted to try and, you know, use that, use that type of exposure to try and get our team to be the best they could be at the time. Uh, defensively, interceptions for a career. I don't know if that'll be broken. Um, I do think it is possible that it can be broken, but it's going to take a lot, a lot of interceptions to do it. Um, I think Mueller was one of the guys who, um, you know, he was, he was a starter from, I think every year. I think he was a starter every year of the dynasty that he played. Um, very versatile player. Um, uh, Robert Roth interceptions in the game. Heath Brown, um, 15 interceptions this season. That's incredible too. He was a ball hawk that year. I remember that. He was just interception machine. Sacks in a career, Andy Payne, 76 career sacks. Sacks in a game, six by Jermaine Parsons. And then sacks in a season, Tyjon Kemp. So a lot, all different names on this list. That's incredible, actually. I like that. So we can, I can get behind that totally. Um, rushing. Rushing touchdowns in a career, um, Justin Kelly. That's bound to be broken eventually. Uh, Aaron Hardy, seven touchdowns in a game. Uh, that's pretty good. It's good. That's gonna be pretty hard to beat, and that's gonna be pretty hard to beat too. Thirty-seven touchdown pass, uh, rushing touchdowns in a season, in a season. That's something else too. Uh, Hardy, rushing yards in a career, four thousand three hundred ninety yards. That's crazy. Although Evans could possibly break that himself as well by next year. If he, I, I think he's not a, I don't even think he's a senior. <laughs> I don't think he is, um, but just incredible numbers, of course. NCAA records, we're looking to look at here. Longest kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, longest pass, 96 yards. Longest punt return, 87 yards. We weren't able to break some of these records, though. That's that's unfortunate. That's that one, that rushing one. That's gonna be that was gonna be really tough to beat. So was uh, 23 receptions. I think the closest I got in a game. For receiving receptions in a game, I had 21. So that wasn't. We were two away from the record. Um, that one was going to be impossible for me. Um, longest run, 98 yards. That one was going to be pretty hard to beat. Longest punt, going to be tough to beat too, because punts are pretty standard in this game. You got to have the wind pretty much blowing at your back at like 40 miles per hour. Um, Longest interception return. Surprisingly, we didn't beat that one, though. That's kind of surprising. Um, interceptions in a game. I think we were close to that one. Uh, let me take a look. Interceptions in a game. We were one off. So we, we've we had to have gotten at least two more to break the record. But getting the tie would have been pretty cool, too. Longest field goal, 65 yards. Wasn't going to break that anytime soon. Uh, punt returns. Uh, punt return for a touchdown. No. Longest yardage. No, I wasn't going to beat that. And uh, team game. Interceptions 10. Well, I got close with 8, I think. Passing yards. Wasn't going to beat that. Points scored. We all know Georgia Tech holds the record technically at 222. But we all know that's going to be impossible. But Rushing yards. Oklahoma at 768. Uh, sacks. TCU 15. That's in a game. Uh... Houston's total offense, 1,000. I think the closest I got was at like 600 or something. That's still a lot of yards. Uh, individual season. 
Heath Brown interceptions. He holds the record for interceptions of the season. Jay Harris holds the touchdown record. Uh, that one was going to be impossible, I feel like. I think the most I ever got was like just cr just crossing the 5,000-yard mark. Quarterback rating, Jay, Jay Harris. Uh, sacks in a season, Tyjon Kemp. Rushing yards in a season. Wow, 2,718. Holy smokes. That's That was going to be tough. Individual career, we hold two of them. Uh, Hall Miller from TCU holds the current record for passing touchdowns in a career. Uh, interceptions in a season in a career holds the Thomas Mueller and Andy Payne for sacks in a career. So those are also pretty accomplishable uh, feats. Games coached wasn't going to beat that anytime soon. I think I, um, career victories. I was at I'm a third of the way there, about. So I had to coach another 12, 24 years to get that done. Um, bowl victories 22. I think I have like seven or eight. Bowl appearance is 37. Um, that's Joe Paterno, by the way, I think. And then the other one is Bobby Bowden. I'm not sure who this is. 1890 to 1946. That's I, I can't remember the coach for that one. Um, years coached, 57. Years out of school, 46. Joe Paterno. I hold national titles record and the longest winning streak title. And that's about it for the individual records. Um... It's kind of interesting how this all played out, though. I wanted to give you guys, like, at least... Uh, at least what it was like seeing this... this, this tro well, we could go to the trophy room, too. A bunch of championships. Uh, we didn't get to go to every bowl. Obviously, we weren't in every conference. So we couldn't get these trophies. A championship, championship. Conference USA championship. SEC championship. Sun Belt championship. Wait, we got a... Oh, that's... That was from Arkansas State. Championship, championship, champion... BCS National Championship. These are probably from previous dynasties. American Championship. That's from uh, ECU. Conference USA. SEC Championship. Oh, yeah. That's all the collection we have. Um, bowl. at and Cotton Bowl. Uh, Rose, Fiesta Bowl. Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl, Fight Hunger Bowl. That one's probably that one's probably from Arkansas State. I'd have to say that one's from Arkansas State. That one is from the I think that one's um, Arkansas State as well. But we haven't been to every bowl, which is kind of hard to do, regardless. Awards, four in a row, three in a row, two in a back to back. Heisman, 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 Coach of the Years, Up the Wazoo, Maxwell Awards, Davey O'Brien's, Violet Nakoop Awards, Outland Trophies, Chuck Bednarik, um, Rotary Lombardi Award, Linebacker of the Year, Jim Thorpe Awards, Ray Guy Awards, Lou Gorza Place Kicker Awards, Returner of the Year Awards, John Mackey's, Remington of trophies, Bronco and Nagurski trophy, Nagurski, I should say, Walter Camp trophies, and the only ones we didn't get are the three in a row Nash. Undefined, undefined. Okay, I didn't get those awards. Rivalry games. Um, I didn't get any. True rivalry game trophies, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, my trophy case looks pretty, pretty big, don't you think? So, I, I do greatly appreciate you guys coming out for this dynasty. And um, 12 years, man. We did it for 12 years. And it was a hell of a run. And I can't wait to start till in 2019 because the content on this channel is going to look so much different. It's going to be evolving evolving some of the same things, but there's going to be a few extra things sprinkled on top and I got I have the resources now to do this and I'm going to put it to the best of my abilities and get you guys content in a different light. So, thank you guys for everything that you guys have done for this dynasty. 
and if i continue to th do this dynasty it will be on twitch if you guys want that of course um of course twitch is a live will be live streamed and those will those will be fun to do on there as well so i i do greatly appreciate everything you guys have done for this dynasty this dynasty it's been incredible it's back in 2015 when i started this dynasty now we're ending it in december of 2018 you know so thank you guys from the from the bottom of what's in here man by my heart thank you guys it's been amazing i'll see you guys in the next video peace out